Crash and burn. Hey everyone. So today I want to discuss um, Cat People. Now this is the remake of Cat People, um, the song by David Bowie's possibly the most famous aspect of this movie. Um, this movie is one wild ride. This was made during that point in the 80s when like erotic films were sort of making their breakthrough into the mainstream. And the upside to this being a slightly more erotic film is the fact that we do get to see Natasha Kinski completely naked in this. So there are worse things in life than that because she is absolutely stunning. Um, it stars her, Natasha Kinski's in this, John Hurd's in this, Ed Bagley Jr.'s in this, Annette O'Toole's in this, Malcolm McDowell is in this. And like I said, David Bowie, he wrote the song, Cat People, which I think is probably, like I said right away, is the most, the longest lasting aspect of this film is the song Cat People by David Bowie. I also really like the cover that Danzig did for it. I actually liked it more than Bowie's, even though I, I really like Bowie's version, I like Danzig's version more. And I think uh, it's the erotic elements of this movie that I think will turn a lot of people off because <laughs> it's just an excuse to get Kinski's clothes off in a lot of ways, you could argue. But at the same time, this movie does have a lot more going on than you would give it credit for. Natasha Kinski and Malcolm McDowell are brother and sister, separated, grew up differently, grew up in different orphanages, orphanages sorry. And uh, Natasha Kinski grew up in Canada. She's decided to come back down to New Orleans to meet up with her brother. And they're both cat people. And what that means is, is that they can shapeshift from human into, I believe, they're panthers, black panthers specifically. And what happens is Natasha Kinski was told to go to the zoo and naturally seeing as how she's part animal herself, she's sort of drawn there anyways. And while she's at the, at the zoo, she meets John Hurd and he starts to fall for her. He gets her a job in the, if I'm not mistaken, in the gift shop. And so she starts working there and then they start hanging out before long they start to bang. And all the while she's sort of like, sort of low key, maybe being stalked somewhat by her brother. There is sort of like a, you get sort of an incestuous vibe from Malcolm McDowell's character in this, but it's not in like a rapey sort of way. It's just like, I don't know, his, his, his animal side is so well developed that he doesn't let anything really hinder his wants and desires. And whereas he never actually makes a pass at his sister, there is a couple scenes in this where they get a little too close and even Kinski's starting to feel in it somewhat and she's like, listen bud, you're my brother, I don't, you know. And she ends up stabbing him. And then she does this rather acrobatic cartwheel type thing off the balcony showing that of course she's a little too agile and a little too limber to just be simply human. And so it's discovered or it's believed that her brother's a serial killer, which I suppose technically you could argue Malcolm McDowell's character was, but he was killing them in his cat form. And the police put it down to he was uh, kidnapping people and feeding them to a large panther that he was keeping in his basement, which isn't untrue, but at the same time, he, he is the panther, so he's eating the people himself. So they're off, they're not, they're not right, and they're not wrong. It's kind of hovering in a gray zone there. So anyways, Malcolm McDowell is killed and the only cat person left is his sister, Natasha Kinski. And um, just an excuse to get her naked. Like I said, there's a, there's a, you see her completely naked, which again is never gonna be a bad thing, but it's just an excuse for John Hurd to keep banging her. And the movie ends with uh, Annette O'Toole and John Hurd dating and the cast, Natasha Kinski's character being permanently caught in cat form, who John Hurd is now keeping at the zoo as one of the attractions. And it's sort of like his, I don't know, I don't know how to put this. It's like his own private cat slave. I mean, he's not banging the cat or anything, but there's still something really odd about how he pets the panther at the end. And these panthers were more wild when they were in their animal form. But now Natasha Kinski in panther form is really docile and really obedient. And so there's like this aspect of like BDSM at play in this movie. I could see why this movie was really well received at the time. It would have been a real jolt for the mainstream cinema 
and I do really find something utterly captivating about this film. It's like it's, it's taking place in some type of fever dream. I love the cinematography, I love the color palette. Everybody in this, as far as the acting is concerned, everybody is absolutely amazing. Ed Bagley Jr.'s in this, I'm not sure if I've said that already, but Ed Bagley Jr., he gets his arm ripped off by Malcolm McDowell, the cat, and he dies from the shock. But I've watched this movie so many times. Like the first time I saw it, I wasn't even sure if I liked it. But then I blinked and I'd already watched it like four more times. And now at this point, I've seen this movie 20 or 30 times and I absolutely love it. And then you toss in the fact that Giorgio Moroder was responsible for the score. You have Giorgio Moroder and David Bowie on the music side of it. And then you have a ton of really strong actors with a really odd and engaging storyline. And the fact that you get to see Natasha Kinski naked again. I will never get tired of seeing a young Natasha Kinski naked. So that's a complete win there too. But this movie's really weird. It's hard to kind of wrap your head around it because it's like, it's almost just an excuse to get her naked and they sort of like shoehorned this plot around it. And if that was the case, it really plays out and it pull, they pull it off perfectly because this movie is really, really easy to love. So I think I'll leave it there. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for almost seven minutes while I discussed Cat People, starring John Hurd, Natasha Kinski, Ed Bagley Jr., Annette O'Toole, Malcolm McDowell, and there's more people in this. I just can't think of them. So thank you so much for hanging out with me for the full seven minutes. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to do something nice for somebody. I'm going to go. Have a good night. I just wanted to say thank you for making it through the entire video. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to remind everyone one more time, even though I've probably already done this in the video that you just watched, to please click the like button as well as the subscribe button because it helps this channel grow. And thank you for hitting like and subscribe. And we will see you guys really soon.